Ken Miller and I'm here with Blas Shessa, who is a collegiate golfer. And what we're gonna do today is go over the S posture. Now, S posture, as it's described through the Tylus Performance Institute, is an excessive rounding off of the upper spine and an excessive extension of the low back. So one of the things that we want to address to improve that swing characteristics of an S posture is to improve the hip hinge. Again, that's your ability to flex at the hip. Also improve and increase core stability and control in the trunk turn during your swing, either the back swing or the follow through, as well as controlling that lumbar spine in that hip hinge position. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna get Blas to go ahead and kneel on the cortex. Now with this kneeling on the cortex, the exercise we want him to execute is what we would call a cat and dog or a cat and cow. So keeping the platform floating, so again, it's not butted up against the base, he is gonna go ahead and extend and flex through his spine. So he's, you'll see here he's getting a nice rounding off of his thoracic spine, he's coming up and down and he's including a little bit of cervical flexion and extension as he's coming up. He's also coming up and down with a little posterior tilt of the hip as he's again stabilizing through the shoulder and one more up. Great. The second exercise is a floor bridge or a variation of the floor bridge where Blas is going to place his feet across the center of the cortex and when he does this as you would on a floor version, is we're gonna keep that spine nice and straight, so good stability from shoulder to hip. As he hinges at the hip, he's going to raise his hips straight up to the ceiling. So he's gonna push up, he's gonna keep the platform floating, again, feet flat, pointing straight ahead, raises up, a little bit of a pause, and then right back down again. Soon as his tailbone touches the floor, he's gonna come right back up again. And desired repetition is going to be about 15 to 20, more for stability and control. So again, looking for nice, stable trunk, up and down, steady motion, hip, knee, and toe in line. And we'll get one more here. Now to move him from the floor, I'm going to go ahead and get him to do the third exercise, which is a basically a quarter or a half squat standing on the cortex. And he is going to get a nice rotation, turn, as if he were turning his hips through a swing. So feet nice and even, front to back, side to side. He's got a good athletic position, or what I might call a five iron position. Two hands on the railing, and I'm gonna have him turn his hips left to right. No need to go too far right or left. He's gonna keep his feet under his hips. Good, good posture from the head all the way through the shoulders and the hips. Again, keeping that nice athletic position. He's going to rotate right and left. And one of the things that he can do to increase the, the demand or the, the need for stability and control here is he can go from two hands to one hand. So here he just dropped the right hand, has his left hand on the railing, and he's just going to rotate right and left. So you'll see here he's getting a little bit more dynamic in his rotation as he goes from two points of contact to one. And perfect. And those are three basic exercises that we can use the cortex with to enhance the S posture swing characteristic.